Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like the diamond in the sky. Hello my wonderful viewers, wherever you are watching me from, across Africa, Europe, Asia and America. Wherever you are joining from, I appreciate you and I thank you so much for coming around to join me on this channel to support me all the time. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can join on the comment section, say your views, add your own opinion, just say it the way you want it. It's all welcome. I appreciate you. Once again, I'm here to bring you information on things happening around Nigeria, more especially in the Nollywood industry, among the celebrities and other activities also. I bring it to your doorstep. Most of us are so busy sometimes we don't have to check around, but we got to bring this information to your doorstep so that you can get informed on what is going on. Now, I want to give you an update on the issue of Ada Jesus problem and the pastors and whatever and her family. The case of Ada Jesus has taken a new shape. Remember, I did a video initially that. Uh, Udumeje has forgiven Ada Jesus and even gave her 1 million naira to add for her treatment. So all of a sudden we woke up again and we saw that the mother of Ada Jesus came online to make a video with a pastor saying that she wants to return the money to Udumeje, that Udumeje should send his uh, account number so that the number money will be transferred back to Udumeje, that they don't need the money. That all they needed was just the apology that he had accepted. And that's all. They don't need his money. That anybody that knows Odumeje should tell Odumeje to send his account number so that they can be able to transfer the money back or can tag Odumeje with the video so that they can be able to send the money back. So the pastor also, a pastor who was there, I don't know what they call him, is it Pastor Oko? When they say he came from uh, Lagos, was also there with her trying to tell us how rich the family is, how rich the uh, 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 Jesus family is, trying to be showcasing the building and all what, that they are a very rich family and all that, you know. After watching this video, I was really shocked and confused, you know. It, it, was, it, it was really a very, very disappointing video that she made. I wasn't expecting such kind of a thing from a mother at this very particular time when the child is sick. So after watching that video, I begin to think about the whole situation from the beginning to the end. From the beginning of this crisis, how it started up to this point. You can recollect that most of the time that Ajah Jesus has been making videos for those who are following her, sometimes her mother is on the background. And her mother also tried to tell us that most times when she cautioned her about insulting people, that she doesn't listen to her, that she also insults her. You see, when you begin to check all those things and that kind of a video that woman, this woman do, you find out that these people have a very broken family. Number one, I see no reason why that woman should come out on the social media to call Odumeje out to send his uh, account number to take the money back. The husband was not present in the video. The husband was not even present when the video was made. If anything was to have to be said about Ada Jesus and his illness, any brokers had to be made, Regarding issues that consign the relative to Ada Jesus, I believe his father should be there, more especially in this issue of money. Because it was the father that went to Udumeje. After reconciliation, Udumeje gave that money as a support and the father accepted it. If there is any rejection, the dialogue was supposed to be reached with the father and then the father will come and make a broadcast for people to hear. Or not. It doesn't even need broadcast. Why must you broadcast on social media? Why must you begin to broadcast such? All they would have done, the father would have done if the father was involved with it. All you have to do is to, you take the money back to the major and tell him that the family rejected the money, that they don't want it. As simple as that. You didn't do that. You came behind your husband and you are telling us that the major should send. The, the, you see, most times when things happen, we begin to criticize people without waiting or knowing the reason why things happen the way they happen. Initially, when people were criticizing Odumeje for not forgiving this very girl when the video came out, I made a video, if you can check my videos, you can see where I spoke about that issue. I said, everybody has the right to be angry. The way that Jesus tarnished the image of people was bad. 
What he did to Odumeje was bad. Odumeje has the right to be angry, angry as much as he can. He has the right to be angry, and you cannot force anybody to forgive and uh, forgive or not to forgive. That in as much as uh, in as much as Odumeje is so angry, people should give him time to come back to his senses, and then he might call her back and forgive her. That was what I said in my previous video. That is that was what I said. You don't have to force people to accept. It is, sometimes people will, might even pretend that they have forgiven while they have not. It's even better for you to say you don't forgive them, so that people will know that you have not forgiven. Then do the, the, the needful. I said people should stop criticizing. Odumeje, in as much as I know that those criticisms were coming because he claims to be a pastor, he claims to be a prophet, and he is a public figure. So people capitalize on that very thing he said that he's not going to forgive until they provide the person whom she said has offended uh, that, that she arranged for him to, to do some miracle. I said in my video that people should not criticize. They should allow him to come down. Later on, he will call other Jesus and surely he will forgive. He is not God. He is not God. Even whether he is a pastor or not a pastor, every human being with conscience will always go back and think. He will go back home and watch the video of what he did in the public. He will be ashamed of himself and he will call other Jesus back. And that was exactly what happened. After all said and done, calls came, people talked to him and all that. He has to call the father to Ada Jesus to come. The man came, he told the man that he has forgiven Ada Jesus, and after that, he gave money to support the treatment of Ada Jesus. And that was supposed to be the end of the whole thing. We are not supposed to be hearing about issues that has to do with that Ada Jesus and forgiveness issue anymore. Only to wake up to see the mother making a video with a different pastor that came from Lagos or whatever. That is why you see, when you see people criticize, women, people are doing so many things they are doing online and offline for their selfish interests. More especially those that call themselves the pastors and the public figure. Whatever they are doing, they are doing it for their own interest. You see this one, they want to capitalize on the problem of Adar Jesus now to make their own advertise, advertisement. Some of them are coming to advertise themselves. Some of them are trying to be in the forefront so that the world will see them and know that they are the one that did this or did that. The aim of most of people who are coming to issue of Father Jesus now is just to advertise themselves. That is what so many people do. Once they see somebody who is popular, a, 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 an issue that people are looking into, that many eyes are into, you see people, they rush into it to get hold of this for their own selfish interest, to advertise themselves. Not actually for them to sell the business. There are so many people who are facing similar problems like Father Jesus that nobody sees them, nobody listens to them. But the most annoying thing was this pastor was present there and this thing was discussed with the pastor. And from the way the woman was talking, it was the pastor that engineered this very issue of returning of that money, that the money should be returned to the owner. If you see the way the pastor was addressing Odumeje himself and the way he was calling the name and the way the woman addressed Odumeje in that video, you will see that this thing has been discussed within among them before that video was made. And if this pastor was a reasonable person, he should have made sure that the husband of this woman will be present where they are making the discussion. I don't know if they are divorced. I'm not sure the woman is with the husband. And for such a woman who is not with the husband, who takes the decision without the husband, the pastor should know that there is something that is a problem. And if he really wants to help that family, the first thing he should have done is to make sure that that woman learns how to respect the husband and learns how to take care of her home. Because it's obvious that she doesn't take care of her home. She cannot control herself, cannot control the children. She only takes control of the husband and never listens to the husband. And even on the movement of forgiveness or whatever, the movement of forgiveness that the husband made was his own you know, initiation. That woman is so arrogant and so proud. When you look at her, you know that she's a proud person and she will never go to apologize anybody. The husband took it upon himself to go places where this daughter has done things that are bad, to go and apologize. It doesn't matter whether they accept or not. The most important thing is that step they made to go there. And at the end of the day, all these people accepted. Now, instead of you to focus on the health of your child, to make sure that this girl regain her health back, all you got to do is to come out and do a video of rejecting the money that was given to you. If you don't want the money, you don't even need to advertise it. It's a simple thing. Maybe when the man, your husband must have come home, you discuss it and convince him. If you convince your husband, what your husband would do is to go to Odumeje, 
you don't have to come to online and begin to tell people to tag Odumeje or you come online and begin to ask people to tell Odumeje to send his account number. You know Odumeje church. You have been attending the church even. You attend the church. You know his house. You go to his house or go to his church and meet him when he's in service. You tell him, look at the, the, the decision the family have reached. You return the money. As simple as that. You don't come with, with social media to come and advertise uh, whatever. And the most annoying thing, the, 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 the pastor himself came and began to tell us that the family is not poor as people think. People think that they are a poor family, that they are rich, they have three decking or four decking, they build, they have mansion, they have this. You have all this, but when this girl was sick initially, she came out online to beg for money and she placed an account number for people to donate money for her. You have money, you are very rich, you didn't do it then. The, you came out, you were there when your, your daughter was soliciting for money to go for treatment. She placed an account number that people should donate money. And people were contributing money, contributing money. Contributing money, how much was she asking for? 3, 3, 3 point something million. That was only amount she was asking. She couldn't get it. And you are here displaying to us how wealthy the family is. You see... That is one thing you see in, in, in life. When, when you see people, when you see people, you say best of the same feather flock together. When you see that woman, the way she behaves you, you see that she is the architect of the whole problem. She was the person that led her daughter into this mess. She encouraged whatever that lady and that Jesus is doing is what she learned from the mother. The mother, from every indication, she doesn't respect the husband. The pride is in her. She is not humble. Not at all. So why you will know that she knows what she did and they know that what they did was evil. Even the presence of that pastor, what the pastor engineered her to do was evil. He just used her to mess up everything. Instead of focusing on the health of this girl now, since everybody has now forgiven her, to focus on the health and make sure she gets well, you are now revising it. Now, bringing back the anger of those your daughter have offended. It is obvious that your, your daughter offended so many people. It is not something hidden. In as much as people are now, everybody has forgotten about that. We are talking about her getting well. All we are concentrating on that she should get well. But that doesn't change the fact that she insulted so many people. Even there are so many people who have not even speak, spoken out. There are so many people who have not spoken out, who are even silent, didn't speak. She insulted a lot of people. Her videos are still there. Her videos, some of them are so, when you listen to some of them, you'll be wondering who is, from which family is this girl from. Then people forgot all those things now. They are talking about forgiveness and health. All of a sudden, you came back to reject money and tell us how rich you are. What a shame. What a mother. What a mother you are. It is really sad. It is really sad when you see people behave in such an abnormal uh, abnormal way. And it, it, it's just that has just become the nature of the world this time around. People act in a way that is so funny, you wonder, you see people online supporting what she did, that you should return the money. Everybody say, return the money, eh, you don't need the money, return the money. But you are the same person castigating someone for not forgiving. The thing have revised now in other words, and you yourself don't want to forgive. Everyone was casting, most of these people, we are the people who we are castigating Odumeje. Why didn't he forgive her? What did he forgive? What did he forgive? But Odumeje now has come to forgive now. And you people now want them to reject the money. You don't want it to, meaning that they have not, uh, they have not forgiven him for what he has said to their daughter. It has revised. That is where you say when you are pointing someone with one finger, the other four are pointing at you. The other four are pointing at you. Those people who were claiming righteous that Odumeje is evil, Odumeje is this, Odumeje, now they are doing worse than Odumeje. That is what they are doing. You see people go to comment section. You see people commenting nonsense, trying to support the evil that this woman just did. This is this is absurd. She is the architect of the problem. Your daughter has caused a lot of havoc. Your concentration should be that things should get better and she should get well. Not taking vengeance or bothering yourself about what somebody said and what somebody did not say. And you allow people to take advantage of you to ruin the issue the more. And to show you that this woman knows what she's doing and she knows that she did wrong. After she did the first video, she did that first video with the pastor. Later, she came again to do another video in order to make amends a little and begin to use a better word than the one she did before. That's The, the first video have exposed everything, have exposed that she herself have grudges against people. 
She's having grudges against people. She has an unrepentant mind also. And she is the engineer of whatever that child is doing. She did the first video. When she realized that first video was... Maybe somebody have called her and told her that, what you, that video you did is bad. The way you talk to people there was so bad. Then she came back to do another video. Forgetting that you're on social media, whatever you put out there, before you can retrieve it back, people have it already. They download it and keep it. And I'm going to play the two videos. I will play the first video she made. After that video, then I'll play the second one. Then you watch the two videos, then you compare. Compare and see what, what, what went wrong there. This is so sad. It's so sad. So sad. We should learn to do things right. We should learn to do things right. Learn to do things right. Put our family in order. Put our family in order. More especially, women should help their husband to put the family in order. Even if your husband is crazy, even if he's sick, even if he's not wealthy, he's not rich, please give him some little respect. Give him some little respect. Join him. Two of you team up together. Train your children. Don't make your children disregard your husband. Disrespect. When there is no man in the house, it is difficult for the children to behave well. Very difficult. She was claiming that Adar Jesus doesn't listen to her. How can she listen to you when you don't listen to your husband? You don't respect your husband. Your children won't respect you. Your children will be, obviously you'll be shouting on your, on your husband in their presence and you expect them to respect you. Well, I'm going to upload the video. You have to watch the two videos. Then when you watch the two videos, whatever you think is your own opinion, put it down at the comment section. Then just say it the way you feel it. It's all welcome. But don't forget to subscribe after watching. Thank you and remember us. Let's watch. Yeah, good evening all. Good evening from Nigeria. Wherever you are, I salute every one of you. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Uh, please, I want just I decided to do this short video because I am with the family of uh, Ada Jesus. Right now, I've been here for hours having series of meetings. Uh, but um, we thank God for everything because as I came in, this afternoon, I met um, some matters arise, but that's not my problem for now. My problem is that I, I came to have a meeting with the family to start, uh, to continue from where I stopped um, at Lagos about the issue at hand concerning the health of other Jesus and every other thing that concerns her. So I want to appreciate every one of you that have been sharing the post and praying for her. I'm praying for the families. God will bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Right now, I am with them. In a couple of uh, minutes, the video will be over. But let me start from showing you uh, them by introducing them to you. This is the mother of uh, Ada Jesus, Mesoma. Mama, please, can you just greet them? Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is also the family member, a wife of yeah yeah that yeah this is the her mother her, her daughter-in-law, a wife of her uh, of one of her son, and uh, if you can see there again, uh, excuse me yeah, this is also uh, the family uh, member, so we are here we are here to to thank every one of you and the woman said please you would like to. Greet every one of us. Mama, please, over to you so you can. Damno, Nekele, Nunde, Nepolono, all over the world. Omo, Abada, Jesus. Ana Mekele, Nunobuna, Nambo, Ana Mekele, Chita Pastor, Kinsile, Oku, Oku Monsa, Oku Monsa. In short, Ike, Ogum, Sisi, Ine, Najine, Agare, Efari, Nambo, Wanine, Eko, Efari, Na Internet, Onye money go go. Manoka pastor see all the way from Lagos since morning. Beba, ya menji chiu go go. Ana make a lendi ni ne. Ana make a the whole Nigerians all no lambo wani ne. Ndi na one boy one word other ine he father mani ne bere he bere. Madu di ka Chimax and the Harrison. Na ibo love themselves. Unuaka. Na ndi le di chiche di eka. Yeah, but in short, I couldn't believe my ears. I couldn't believe what I'm seeing in, on internet. Now I got through internet, now watching. 
Thank you, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. Um, Excuse me, please. Okay. I forgot. Okay. 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 Okay.
Uh, Mama, God bless you. Before I conclude this meeting or this video, I want to ask one question. From all indication, uh, you people told me because I never s uh, saw the video, even up to this moment, where your husband went to what's the name of that church? Okay, okay, God's intervention. That is Pastor. Um, Chukwemeka would uh, uh, so today it has been on, on on air that he went there and after everything the man of God gave the man one million naira and uh, from all indication please can you tell the world exactly what happened uh, did did the, did the husband went back there to apologize or what happened. Yeah, oh, is that uh, the village for village kindred of Odumeje or what? Uh, yeah. Say I know the go say I say I On the process of it's not what they went for. All right, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Okay, viewers all over the world, God bless you. I will keep on appreciating God. Number one, I I, I am astonished for what I saw in this house this day, because I was expecting to see. Uh, one kind old house has been stated in the media that the young lady that Jesus came from a um, poor wretched family but I never knew that the family has mansions here in Onicha and a very big magnific magnificent house this is how many story building man four story building now is wonderful I, I I really really appreciate God this is Newly, newly, new house. So, uh, because Kai Jinu Wayo Neu Kuoku, Makasayan Mono Onya Bonye, or Mabero Onya, or Dickas in Ankea Guna, or Dickas in Ankea Guna, nobody is praying for temptation to come, and they want temptation to come to somebody. Please be mindful of what you say. Uh, secondly, the, to those of all that are not hearing Igbo language, what the woman was trying to say is that to thank every one of you that have been praying for that Jesus, that have been praying for the family, that have been supporting every movement concerning uh, the, 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 her daughter. And uh, he appreciated so many people that have volunteered themselves to help financially. He called themselves, Igbo loved themselves. What again? Yeah, Chimax. Uh, and uh, uh, Harrison. These are the set of people, good Nigerian citizens, that have hijacked her from her. Even where she is right now, she doesn't know. So for you to know, and from all indication, our prayers are working indeed because this, the girl is responding to treatment because people have taken over the case. And um, uh, by God's grace, we keep on praying. We keep on believing God. One thing is sure, man is not God. God is God, and what God cannot do never exists. Again, I came here to just have a meeting with the family once again, even though we have been communicating, I've been praying for the, my daughter, Ada. I don't know her for Adam, if not this thing. And I said, no, I want to have a meeting, one hour one meeting, because so many people have showed concern. They want me to know what is happening and give them feedback, both international and the local here. All the power, all every parts of the world have been calling on phone. They want to know about the outcome of the sister. And today I'm here to tell them that I am with the families. Very soon I will also up the, uh, upload the picture of the father. I have also discussed with him, and uh, he also salutes every one of you for your encouragement. Secondly, lastly, sorry, today about the video they said that is on air. How the father went to Prophet to do, uh, yeah, uh, Chukwe Mecca. The woman and the family confirmed that um, yesterday the Igwe of the man of God called the man, called the father of um, Adar Jesus, that, that Odumejo sent for, for him. That two of the, the, the Odumejo said that he should come with the man, which they went. Though the man confirmed that two weeks ago or three weeks ago that he met the man pleading because they were friends 
all the time friends. So he met the man about two weeks ago so that he can help him to talk to Udumeje, to plead. But that man tried before then, according to every information, but he didn't get any message, any response, because the man asked him to go, that he would get back to him. So he tried to reach him then, but the highness, the chief, the Eze, could not pick his call, neither return to him. Then they now decided to go to see the man of God with themselves, which we all know that the man of God turned the plate upside down, could not accept the plate, neither to forgive the sister. And that was what prompted me, at least let the error be corrected. Correct who is not doing it well, so that next time he or she will not repeat it again. If not for any other thing, for Christ's kingdom, for the body of Christ. I am also happy today that he said that he has forgiven um, the girl or the family and uh, also gave the father one million naira but I was also surprised as I entered here the family was telling me that they are not in support they didn't go there for the first time to ask for money because already if it's about money people has come out to, to provide whatever money that is needed that what they went there for the first time which he turned down was pure forgiveness I have freed you, I have forgiven you. But he didn't do that. So this one, the chief or the Eze called the daddy, the daddy to go there, that is the, the major is inviting them. They never believe that, or they never uh, uh, believe that the money will come, or send, uh, the man didn't go there because of money. But finally, the man received the money without even calling the family. But the family is not telling us that they are not in need of that money. That what they need from the man of God forgiveness. is forgiveness, which he has done. So they have also thanked the man of God for forgiving at last. At least, at last, he has forgiven. Only God knows what made him to call the meeting. Only God knows what made him to forgive. And only God knows what made him to give the money. But they're saying it that that money is not their problem. Therefore, that they Please need the account the number Please. so that the money can be transferred back to, the, to, to his account. Because or even if he asks them to bring, Mama, you say, even if he asks them to, to bring the money, yes, that you are ready that, to right? bring the money yes. to the church. What we need is that forgiveness. We yes. don't need that money. Good, good. That is please, what, please. This, that is the all. Uh, somebody, uh, please tag him. We, are don't, we don't need, me and my children, we don't need that money. What we need is that forgiveness. That's okay for us. Please, let him send his account number. We transfer the money to him, please. They also pray for the man of God that God will bless him for forgiving, at least. And the, in summary, she also, on behalf of the family, uh, thank me, me that come from Lagos, all the way from Lagos, to easy. continue from where I stopped over this issue. Because since that Monday, I have not slept, I have been on program, I have been praying for the lady, and I'm happy that all of you that have been praying, our God is hearing us. So the information we are receiving right now, Grace, um, soon I will be with her, not today. Anytime I'm with her, I will still make videos so that you will also offer your prayers on her. So she really, the family really welcomed me. They welcomed me. They were very, very happy. They were surprised. And I know the prayers you have prayed, you have offered to me, we walk. The one you offer on behalf of Ada, we walk. And the one the family has also offered, we also walk. Thank you all and God bless you. I will take my leave any moment from now. I want to use this medium to plead for every one of you that have been trying to call me or reach me please i am at the tight corner right now still have patience with me my sons and daughters worldwide be patient by next week i will be with you fully i still have other meetings here at the eastern side of nigeria but right now i am at on nature and i'm living on nature to imu states from here right now thanks and god bless you please keep on praying for this family keep on praying for the body of Christ, keep on praying for our daughter, our friend, Ada Jesus, known, uh, Mason, known as Ada Jesus. Thanks and God bless you. Please, every one of you that have been provoked because of what happened to the place, calm down. God works in a mysterious way. We are not God. Nobody is above mistake and uh, what God want to do, he has done it. So please, don't nail the family or the father on the cross because 
He has committed sin that no one has ever committed. No, don't. So calm down. And the, all the partners, all the people that are so showed interest have taken up the case. Please don't also give up because of this. I know you feel bad. I know because the man called. The man, the father told me that most of you are no more picking his call. Some of you called and asked, why did you collect this money? Why? What did you do? And he's tried to respond. Some, some of you called the phone and have called several times. You refuse to pick. Please, my knees are on the ground. I plead, don't give up. I will never give up. I will keep on granting my spiritual assistance as I promise. If God said that that lady will live again, she will live. Not even powers of darkness will stop or utter the word of God. Keep on doing the work. All we are doing is not for selfishness, it's for the glory of the Lord and to the help or assistance for, for humanity. So please, all oh, every one of you that she have mentioned, don't give up. I am leaning down and I'm begging you, please calm down. Don't give up. Don't go back because let us fight this battle to the end. Thanks and God bless you. Use this medium to thank you for the bold step he have also taken. But still, one of you, don't forget that nobody is above mistake. Thank you and God bless you. See you soon. Appreciate all your comments. Keep on praying. The Lord will not fail you. And will never allow you to enter this kind of trials. Keep on praying for the family. And the Lord will answer our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Depending wherever you are. Anyway, can see you. I can on the bike. I can see you. I you. Iko ana mekele maduni ne ne kene kwa pastor kinsile o kumwanza sisi na juu ne mare o we yeye mume madoto kipe miri to gudora wano ano yamani yoni ukoku so sisi sawa ni le ne mene nanga sana na ana maga Facebook na fuchia na kumet na suti spendi maduni ne ni ukum ne kile pastor nwasi all the way from Lagos this morning this morning we been here up to this time na bem. Na sibi kuchine ke gozire mia. Wene kene kwa mwa dunine. Ay, ada. Ama budi lo ki wene di fulogi na anya. Mato di kachimaz. Harrison. Ibo lo ten sef. Ndi ni ine ya. Wapta ma ndi ni ine na mwa kwa wata roku nobi. Inya na adaka. Both financial. Ine ini we. Na sibi ke gozire mwa unu nchani ine. Wene kene kwa mwa di kudumeje. Neke le chi marine tempo. Utu nusiwa, especially chimari nusu siwa na bata kwa ayu ya yore ya. Nekele kwa odumeje at last, no mecha kwa kwa harada. Wene ukuzi na opuro iwe biko na 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 akan nombi yamu akansi na muan even dim mecha kwa nasi. Nobi ya mirespe no me invite bi ane mano yoye me iego. So kwa wetu kaka na me kenyi that mano opuro iwe because we gundi take care of the matter. Inye na ada kwa financiary, wote kwa wewe amount of money si, ego na bora na upsanya bora, na hagi take care of ada. Even as I was talking to you, na mu amara ba ada no, amara me ba ada no say because it's like I better be a pray and I can sort of come and check on one. No onye nka na bora, so when you ask na mu abu mu orani ne, so bora ada kaje jaga tuite so. Uh, we it's, it's like we don't need that monopoly when the see how Jacka hit it, it's going to take care of the matter financially. So please, the house and the account number, I can't get that money. 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 I can't get that